Hello everyone, and welcome to my Dead Space remake, Plasma Caroni medium difficulty and 150 logs achievement run. So today we'll be doing chapter 7, which is Into the Void, uh, which is going to take place on the mining deck, which is our quest for now to go over there. As you can see here, uh, with that, we also have three more side quests that open up, which is pretty much all of them. We're going to find more rigs for the Master Override side quest, we're gonna continue the search for Nicole, and we're gonna find out more about the Hunter's Origins. And this is a, uh, like the computer says, this is a Master Override Lock Chest, there are a couple of those in the, uh, in, uh, about the ship, we can get those there. And of course, now I only notice the locker over there, so that's why after the elevator is done going down here, you'll see a quick uh, sped up transition here of me going back up to get what was in there. There we go, because of course I'm such a klutz and I uh, sometimes don't uh, look up all the place, but alas, thank god for uh, the magic of editing. So now we've finally reached the mining deck, as usual, don't forget to uh, open up the mining deck for the uh, tram to appear. Also, coincidentally, mining deck is also... Uh, Thank you for your patience. Opposite of engineering, and that's going to be easier for at the end of the video where we're going to go after the ri <laughs> rig in the engineering. The mining deck systems are running haywire. We work on the elevators. Any idea where Temple's SOS beacon might be? I'll check the mining control room. The launch tube's there. Could send out a beacon easy. Anyone there? Hammond? Where are you? In the vents, hoping they don't hear me. Yeah, those things are everywhere. No, the unitologists. They're all here on the crew deck. They've lost it. One of them stabbed her friend in the head. He just stood there. He, he fucking smiled. They're going somewhere. Hammond! Shit. Lost the signal again. We gotta find that beacon, Isaac. Fast. Once again with the fasting. Fastings usually get people killed, Kendra. Just saying. Speed kills. Remember that. So uh, now I gotta activate the launch tubes in order to uh, try to send out an SOS. However, I'm wondering uh, how that's supposed to go since we don't have an SOS beacon yet, but alas. So as you see here, all the side quests, we got the notification that they've all opened up. We can get all of them. Uh, well, part of them anyway, this part uh, to continue them. As you see here, the mining deck is usually flashing very ominously. Uh, you can go straight forward, however, do not forget to go over here to your left and uh, Kinesis these boxes out of the way in order to get a free power node. At this point, if you've been following my uh, guide, you should pretty much have everything as maxed out as uh, the game will let you at this point. <clears throat> and uh, also you can uh, Kinesis these boxes because there is another door in here uh, that requires a master override to open. However, be aware that uh, even though you can't open it, that if you go through here, Right over here, a slash will pop up out of the vents. There we go, right over here. And now we do the tried and tested, which is, uh, is tried and tested, which is uh, shooting it two or three times in the leg, and then shoot it, it, shooting it it once again in order for the uh, fire damage to take care of them. Thank God for that. Thank God they added the uh, special upgrade from the Dead Space Two. Um, upgrade path, thank god for that. And also as you can see there's lots of level 3 lockers in this level. Do not worry, in this level you actually get the level 3 clearance which will let you open all the lockers and doors uh, of all levels excluding of course the ones with the star which is from the master override but don't worry once we get to chapter 10 I think? Yeah, once you get to chapter 10 uh, that's where will be the last place where you actually have to get the um, last rig in order to get the master override. This is weird. Two of the mining subducts are locked down, even though all systems are running. I'm gonna figure this out. You do that, Kendra. Okay, nice little procedure procedures and about mining and of course world building. Uh, you'll have to go uh, about four. Uh, floors in this place. Beware that when you go down here you will be attacked by three slashers. Uh, two of them are normal and one of them is gonna be an enhanced one. Uh, I recommend you stay here in the middle and once they come down uh, as usual shoot them in the legs and then shoot them once 
in order to kill them with the fire damage. However, they get too close, either use melee or stasis in order to uh, make them keep their distance. So as to not to get hit unnecessarily. Alright, here we go. Fighting time. There we go, first customer. The waiting was almost <laughs> kinda killing was almost killing me, but alas. Unfortunately, enhanced slashers you can see take uh two uh impalements in order to work, unfortunately. There we go. Good night, son, and you should be done. Now the elevator should resume its uh, path. To get you to mining, I think it was. I guess so. I think it's mining. Either way, it's a bunch of ways to go. Do not worry, also, uh, compared to the original, there are a lot of stores in here. So, uh, compared to the original, well, I think only two stores were on this deck. Uh, not sure, maybe three, but here there's a lot more stores, like in Hydroponic, put in, which makes a lot more sense since uh, kind of would have been really shitty to have the miners go all the way back up in order to buy stuff that they need. So uh, it makes a lot more sense. So yeah, we're back here in mining. And uh, as you see there, there are traps ahead in here. Which are uh, not that hard to bypass, but you'll see here in a minute. Break this box open. So uh, as you can see here, these uh, lasers, which by the way come from the alternate fire of the line gun, are used as traps here in order to um, uh, kill, successfully kill necromorphs. Uh, in order to bypass them, you can do one of two, well, three things, I think. Uh, one is that uh, you can actually use a giant box marked with kinesis like that and put it in front of them so that it obstructs the view like that. Or, like I show you here, you can actually uh, kinesis a body and hold it, uh, hold it in front of the lasers, like in here, and the laser will eventually just burn out because they don't have uh, infinite duration. If they touch something, they will eventually burn out, but until then, they pretty much stay there indefinitely. So, there you go. I opt to uh, actually um, keep them because they're good when enemies come in, but uh, there's gonna be some weird glitches in this uh, level, unfortunately, where some things uh, duplicate or come in doubles. Which they shouldn't be, but alas. But either way, over here is the first Cyclist you can actually engage with on this level, which is the... Was it? No, it's not. Huh? Uh, actually, I think it's something wrong. Yeah, it's not the... It is? Oh, never mind. It is Premeditating Malpractice. Okay, I thought I said wrong. So it's the Premeditating Malpractice one of investigating Orsters to find out what uh, Harris did and finding out more about the origin of the Hunter. Yeah, and that's a pretty grisly sight over there. In order to get it, you have to move these uh, boxes over here with Kinesis and uh, listen to the uh, audio log in order to get it. The uh, security request. Security request retrieved. Security, we got a freak called Harris stealing from ore storage. Dr. Mercer sent me for Osmium to complete his work. Yeah, I don't care if God Almighty sent me. You skim from CEC's profit margin, we get screwed. God? So, you can put that osmium down, or I can break your arms first. I worked with people like you on Aegis 7. They steal my power nodes. Leave me to dig with no light. Hey, hey! Get off me! If when they abandon you in the dark, it's not empty. The marker whispered its revelations there. Now I understand them. Do you want to hear? Warning. Our trans personnel may not use suit kiosk. No, no, stop, please. I said please when they shut me in. Screamed it too. I promise I will laugh like they did. Warning. Suit kiosk is obstructed. Serious injury may occur. Oh, God. Help me! Incident report filed to bridge by Dr. Nicole Brennan. 
See related rig activity. There you go. That's uh that's the side quest on this uh deck. To complete it you have to go back to the bridge. However, I do not recommend you do that now if you're thinking of doing it. However, that could be beneficial for you because at the end of the side quest there is a uh, pretty pretty good reward. You can do that, but I recommend you wait until uh, you complete this chapter because the next chapter is going to take place on the bridge deck. So it's pretty much in your way and there's no need to backtrack twice. However, I probably will do that uh, because of trying to do the uh, side quests and complete to the end. Well, last time we're done with that. Jesus, poor guy, like in the original. However, very durable since he, he had full health without his arm, which is amazing. Also, when you come down here, quickly kill this infector showing up so that it doesn't bring out... Uh, make more friends for you to play with. And then bust out a... Uh... There we go, and now we're full. Okay, so in this part, uh, you're gonna have to uh, go towards... You're gonna have to go through the elevator over there, but you have to power it up with this battery over here. I also stomped the bodies in here just in case more infectors show up. I don't think they show anymore in this chapter, it didn't for me, so you should be good as long as you don't backtrack too much. Uh, well, different for where the game kind of. And uh, speaking of which, uh, Jesus Christ, kind of with that side quest made uh, made me kind of sorry for poor old uh, Harris there, but and then again he is doing the bidding of Mercer, so kind of counterbalance the fact that he's under the marker influence and under uh, Mercer's uh, guidance, so to speak, the fact it does horrible stuff. You also know now to never obstruct suit Kia, so there's that. And also, like I said in the previous video, uh, don't forget to save 35,000 credits, because you will need them to buy the next suit upgrade, next suit level, uh, which will be available in this chapter. I cap out at that sum. I'm also confident that there's going to be more money in there, so I just leave that so that it is enabled. I also buy the rest of the weapon upgrades. Also beware when you're coming in here that uh, there will be a slasher coming in once you use the bench after you exit using that work uh, upgrade bench over there. Also a uh, interesting entry about uh, the guy and the survivors of this deck. Jesus, well that was, well that was fucking grim, but then again it adds more to world building. So I just uh, use this bench to show you once again that these are the uh, weapon upgrades and how we get more power nodes, which we're definitely going to use once we get the uh, level 4 suit, which is the intermediate minor rig. And I'll also show you here what the special upgrades do once you unlock the path from uh, putting weapons upgrades in them, alas. And now once we exit this workbench, as I told you, there, uh, from the vent behind there's gonna be a slasher, there we go. There's Mr. My Workbench. Sorry mine, but your workbench has been officially been occupied. Oh well. I can pick that up. And like I said, we're gonna have to go over there to the elevator. Well, there's gonna be enemies ahead, I guess I can say. I'm checking in because uh, there's gonna be a part where a uh, pregnant will come in here, but uh, that's not yet to come. Also, it's really amazing. I, I didn't think in the original I actually looked up to see how the uh, how the that room looked like, but now it's really interesting to see that maybe that's the smelter that guy was talking about. 
Also be aware that going around this corner there's gonna be a swarmer pack coming in, so as usual stasis it and then just blast the shit out of them. Or uh, you could, uh, I think there was a propane tank where you can actually carry that and once they round the corner you stasis them and then you throw it at them you can actually blow them all up so yeah there you go not sure if there's more on the corner there isn't okay we're good also i like how the stasis also affects other objects like the doors in this case i'm gonna have to interact with that console to proceed but uh there are a couple of um credits and items and some uh I think, yeah, uh, text logs in here, which you can pick up and view. Okay, well, good to know that that uh, whole payload was a mother load. However, I don't think that's uh, kind of paying off now for you guys, is it, unfortunately? And uh, also, I do stomp these bodies out, but there's no need to do it because there is no uh, infector coming in. I just do it just in case to make sure I don't have any nasty surprises come in. Launch tube sealed. Please contact Supervisor Dallas for authorization. Finally getting somewhere with the mining duct system. Got the SOS beacon? No, and the launch tubes are sealed. I need a deck administrator's rig to get them open. The deck admin is Supervisor Dallas. He's on the processing sub deck. I've got rig activity for a Jacob Temple 2 maintenance sub deck. Maybe he left the SOS beacon there. Just hope you can reach it through these malfunctions. No malfunctions. Traps. <laughs> the miner's way of holding the line. Okay, I'll unlock the subjects. Just make sure that beacon's not wired to anything. We'll try. Also, that may be a very real possibility, speaking of. So now we gotta find the rig in order to uh, get the SOS beacon from uh, a certain A Dallas, which is also uh, coincidentally one of the guys you actually have to get his rig from in order for to get the master override. So that's really nice. Uh, yeah, there is no enemies coming in here, it's just a jump scare, just an uh, ambient, so everything's okay at the moment. Uh, what is it called? But I, I liked how Isaac was, uh, Sandy Carpal was like, nah, it's, that's how the miners kept the line. They rigged up all sorts of traps because they knew they were mining gear and stuff. Yeah, so that was a really nice little moment there. And also, uh, speaking of which, uh, at the beginning of the video I forgot to mention, it's interesting to see now Hammond, what he's doing, because in the original you did meet him in Chapter 6 on Hydroponics, here you don't. And now you actually find out what he's been doing, which is to, uh... Ooh, man. Sprinting black guy coming in, fat, hot, and the lurker. Not sure if that was a uh, random spawn or not, but alas, now you know. Uh, speaking of which, uh... Hammond, actually, you can f uh, you actually see now what he's been doing because in the original only, uh, well, popped up a little bit later. But now it's actually nice to see how they uh, actually make uh, make you know what he's been doing in the meantime, and his rig isn't uh, jammed like in the original, so that's really nice. So now we're gonna have to go to processing, which is again an interesting place in itself. I only think when you go to the third time to the third deck is the second elevator ambush but we'll see later for now everything's okay everything's cool up until we get i think to processing or another deck there's gonna be a long fight in there there's gonna be at least i think two long fights in this chapter so be prepared for that yeah and there you go there's a slasher just waiting for us there very nice of him Show up. hello thank you for the welcoming committee but uh we can pretty much uh we can pretty much find a way ourselves, no need for your assistance. Thanks very much. And uh, take this uh, video, I think, log? Yeah. Hey, Liz, it's Jacob. Um, I couldn't reach you. If 
If you find this, I'm off deck, but I'll be right back. I got a call from another survivor. It sounded terrified. I'm gonna lock up the SOS speaker and go and get him. Best launch window is not for a while anyway, and he sounds like he's worth the risk. He's a doctor, uh, a Mercer, I think. About time I caught a fucking break. I love you. Please be careful. Okay, so uh, we actually get to see Temple. Uh, well, well, compared to originally, only see him once in person. I mean, I actually got to see him in the vid call. So good to know that he was uh, keeping busy here. However, uh, since he said he was going after Mercer, that is not a good uh, thing to be sure with our past experience of him. So yeah. Also, be prepared here because once you go to over here to your right in front, there's gonna be a big fight with a lot of slashers, including a pregnant and an enhanced one. So at the moment, yeah, use that explosive character to just chuck it at the face of the pregnant. That will uh, bust out its payload, but with this other explosive canister, you should take care of it and the enhanced slasher, or well, damage it enough to uh, almost kill it. Once you go a little bit further, uh, there's gonna be a leaper and a spitter uh, spawning in from behind, so definitely take care. And uh, don't go further in or back because there are a couple of dead ends here which you can just be corn and maul to death. So uh, just do as I do, just be cautious and keep your distance from them. Once you go over here, you'll see there's a leaper coming in. Come on, buddy, where's that? There we go, leaper coming in. It usually stays in because we don't mess around with leapers. And there should be a spitter coming from the corridor where we went in. And I think we also use an explosive canister on her, or don't we? Yeah, we do. There we go. See a bitch. And, wow, tanked it like a boss. Goddamn. Very tanky enemies, unfortunately. And that should be all of these enemies at this point. I think... Oh, never mind. One more enhanced uh, slasher. However, there are enough blades in here to just impale them to the wall. No need to uh, waste any more ammo with these bastards. So that's nice. And also, there's going to be a schematic in here. So don't just uh, rush ahead. To the objective because uh, there's gonna be some goodies to it and a schematic over here for the contact energy which is uh, surprising enough pretty easy to miss I tell you because in the original I mean in my first playthrough I didn't really notice a way to get it only after looking at it looking up uh, how to get it online I actually found out so you can actually almost you saw it for a glimpse there how you can actually get it you're gonna have to go and be in that corridor back there, and there'll be a fuse on the wall which I have to shoot. But I'll show you in a few seconds. Yeah, a lot of uh, dead bodies, unfortunately. So this is where the uh, schematic is. We'll get the security request in a second. So you're gonna have to, like I said, go over here, and from this window, you can actually shoot the fuse that's uh, locking the door, and you can now go in and get it. That easy, and pretty easy to miss, actually. Also a free power node for us to loot. And there you go, contact energy. Fortunately, a level three clearance needed. I think after this, we actually can get the level three lockers after this point. Yeah, and there you go. This is where it's on the map. And I'll show you the level in a few seconds. There we go. And I know where you can get it. Uh, the weapon upgrades, I do not... Uh, Mention for a reason. I'll say in a few bit. Dallas here. Security to the mining deck now. Dr. Kimes lost it. Get back. I know how to use this. Uh, he, uh, he'll live for the rest of his life if you don't give me codes for the cargo bay. This is processing. Why the hell would we have codes for cargo? I must get to the marker. We're running out of time. Give me those codes. Christ, is this what you did to the captain? No, no. Ben was an accident. Don't you dare compare me to someone like Mercer. I'm trying to save you. The markers are only hope. No, let him go. He's ours. Where the fuck is security? Excellent question, but I think they're busy with their own stuff. So, uh, yeah. Gonna have to go to here and you'll, uh, going forward. Also, that body, which doesn't have a leg missing like here. You'll, you'll actually go up here and there'll be a new slasher variant. This is the security slasher, which you can probably guess by the armor and its name. It's actually a uh, former security officer from the Shimura that's been uh, turned into a slasher. Now, what you need to know about security slasher is that the, uh, they're the only slasher in the game 
uh, where you cannot shoot its legs off. I repeat the legs, just the legs. You can actually just chop off its arms as normal, just keep in mind that you can't slow it down besides stasis by chopping off its legs. So keep that in mind. Because uh, there's gonna be more of them showing up from here on in. This is where uh, they actually officially uh, kind of spawn. And uh, yeah, what was I saying before? I don't remember. Jesus. <laughs> Not easy when you're entrapped with uh, you going forward and forward and forward. By the way, there's gonna be a secret room here in the front. From here you can, once again, shoot the fuse in order to unlock it and get some free stuff. And also a good place to uh, line up enemies for the upcoming part. Okay, so in order to restore gravity we're gonna have to destroy, like you see on the screen, these uh, four giant rocks going in here. Also keep in mind after destroying two there's gonna be two leapers and two lurkers coming in. And of course, as is Death Space Edition, do not go into that huge beam uh, at the in the middle of the room because that will most probably kill you instantly, so do not mess with it. Mostly if there's something really big or something really industrial spinning or going or has laser, it's mostly recommended not to touch it, otherwise it will kill you. That's pretty much one of the staples of Dead Space. Once again, I get hit. Thank God I didn't... The fucking Leaper did not recover fast enough for it to hit me again and uh, drop my health even more. However, the other piece of shit Lurker will, I think, hit me in here because, uh, as you see, they're pretty hard to track some of them in this room. And uh, I think the thing I hate the most about Zero-G, besides the fact that you don't... Um, I can lose uh, track of enemies pretty easily, is the fact that uh, your thrusters actually kind of sound like the roars of the lurker, so uh, most of the times when I'm boosting, I feel like I uh, actually, there's enemies in the room with me. So yeah, there's uh, after you turn on the gravity, if you've uh, played the original, you know there's going to be a big fight coming in. However, you, I've seen a strategy that you can actually line up enemies to come through this room if you're uh, not confident or having problems with uh, the upcoming fight. However, it's not that hard as long as you keep your distance, you, use, uh, you, you have a skill trigger finger. Also remember to keep, I think, uh, one or two... Uh, propane tanks just in case because uh, even though they're not too handy they will be for some enemies coming in because uh, there's gonna be a couple of well, well, different kinds of enemies mostly slashers including the pregnant and a few exploders and there we go all of the four of those rocks are destroyed now we can actually go back to this console to restore gravity in order to access the place where uh, the supervisor's rig is Definitely heal up for this fight because uh, those is going to do a heck uh, a lot of damage. And here we go. So there's going to be a couple of slashers at this point, so, two suiciders, well, pullers. And also, do not forget your back. There will be enemies coming through your back here, which is going to be a pregnant and uh, I think a lot more. Uh, yeah, there we go, exploder. Thank God the uh, explosion on the explorer doesn't uh, trigger the. Uh, pregnant's belly to rupture, so that's really good. Yeah, so it's interesting here, instead of a classic explosion that just has like, you can see the blast wave coming in, it's actually you can see the, uh, I'm not sure, the li liquid or the gas coming out of uh, where the exploder erupted, so that's really interesting to see. It's my nice effect. There'll be, I think, yeah, a security slasher and two more exploders coming in. So there's that. Also a thing I've uh, heard is uh, if you have like a uh, slasher blade or a fan, one of those fans you can pick up to uh, impale them with, sorry, if you aim for the head, uh, if you aim for the body, the game will prioritize you going for the head, which is kind of stupid because uh, besides them not being able to grab you anymore, uh, that doesn't really do much to slashers, so I recommend you going for the legs first time that you have a... Uh, uh, thing to impale them with, and uh, of course, if you don't, uh, unless you have a uh, javelin, a long spear, which you can use to uh, impale them with. And there we go, now we got Dallas's rig, we have clearance everything, we can access all the lockers that I have uh, 
level 3 or lower in the game, so congrats. You can go back to those areas and uh, yeah, use them. And get all the goodies. Supervisor Dallas, final log. I've made sure they can't leave this sub deck. But neither can I. See what they do to the bodies, what they become. And cannot let that happen. If I don't have any limbs, I can kill anyone. The administrator's red changed location. You got it? I got it. I'll check the maintenance sub deck for Temple Speaking. Okay. Now the now we got uh level three currents where I actually can enter this room. Uh don't worry, I will play that audio log later. There is a problem which you'll see me uh fucking around with the audio log and it doesn't play I thought you could actually get the audio log to uh, play even though you're uh, going but aside from picking up the first time you actually have to stay in the menu for it to actually show so unfortunately that's a no-go uh, I was saying about the weapon upgrades the reason I don't list them is because as I said uh, this is a plasma cutter only run hence we do not actually uh, we only collect weapons upgrade in order to get the free power nodes, which you can also purchase, and they're not needed except for when you're going, I think, for the achievement to getting all of them. So that is not necessary for this run. Only the schematics. Supervisor Dallas. Yeah, so you can say I'm trying to get that, but I figured, yeah, you can't really play it unless you actually stay in the menu. So unfortunately, we're going to play it only after we get to the elevator and get to safety. However, when we get here, there's going to be, I think, another enemy coming in here, or not. Should be, I think there's... No? Okay, there isn't. I also don't go back for the level 3 stuff? Huh, well, I think I uh, thought, yeah, fuck this place very much, because I don't like the uh, processing deck very much. And yeah, I said, just screw it, time to go. I think... Jesus. Yeah, this is where we put it, there we go. Supervisor Dallas, final log. Supervisor Dallas, final log. Now I've made sure they can't leave this sub deck, but neither can I. I've seen what they do to the bodies, what they become, and I cannot let that happen to me. At least if I don't have any limbs, <clears throat> and I can't kill anyone when I'm infected. Please, tell Dawn and the kids that I love them. Jesus Christ, they actually made the um, one of the most disturbing and fucked up audio logs in the original even more disturbing and fucked up, Jesus. At least in the original it was uh, kind of a little bit quick how he uh, cut off all his limbs, but uh, <laughs> Jesus man, I mean realistically speaking I don't think it's an easy task even with uh, industrial mining equipment to cut off all your arms and legs, Jesus Christ. However, uh, the good part of his story is that, uh... Hammond? You must be in defense on the food deck. They're bringing something in. Stop. What? 
That was the marker. Did you? No. I didn't see anything. I lost him and signal again. Just get the last one I'm speaking. I want off this fucking ship. Don't we all, Kim? Don't we all? So, uh, yeah, that was interesting. Uh, also, when you go down here, let's play something. Yeah, there we go. There's gonna be two infectors in the zoom, so just quickly go down here and uh, kill them both because they're gonna start infecting the bodies. Also, beware that uh, on the other side, uh, there's gonna be a guardian there, so definitely uh, beware so that you don't. Um, accidentally step too close to it and that you uh, you know get insta killed by it uh, also I think here's where the uh, one of the duplication glitch actually manifests so I think I just do I manage to it, it at first I think to me it looked like I managed to blast all of his limbs out and then he regrew them but apparently on uh, resting I think it's all right there are gonna be a uh, part telling you where um Unfortunately, there will be, uh, like I said, parts where the enemies duplicate or some items duplicate or uh, they actually, the things, audio logs I picked up actually uh, appear twice. So, yeah. Now, just checking if he's dead in order not to get instantly killed. And actually, over here, in, we actually have to go on the door to my right now. Over there, yeah, that's where I need to go. But uh, if you go at the other part, which is... Uh, on the uh, other room that they actually you can see there where the guardian is you can actually continue the scientific methods side quest the one about uh, finding the cult and we have to find uh, the good doctor kind's hideout but uh, speaking of which what we're saying yeah that uh, to finish where we started the uh, Dallas doesn't actually the good part in the story is he doesn't have to worry about uh, being infected because uh, if you don't have any limbs the infectors pretty much leave you alone because there's no more things that they can actually make you be an echo unless they you know drag your body in order to add it to a mess so uh yeah so a leaper comes here also a baby unfortunately so that was a really close call and also uh, of course to talk about as usual late about this stuff but first just you know only unit zero one and zero two are the only ones you can actually uh open and when you open this, there's going to be a Swarmer pack coming in and an Enhanced Slasher once you get inside the room, so definitely take care of that. And uh, actually, after you exit this place, you'll be attacked on both sides by two Slashers after I think you complete the side quest, yes. Also over here, I'm not sure if they're uh, just falling from the sky where they're coming from, but they can't uh, at get attached to you for some reason, they just stomped them to death, so there's that. There's gonna be... No, I think it's a regular slasher, isn't it? Yeah. Or we see my conductor. There we go. Come on. Yeah, it's just a regular slasher. Okay. Let's see ya, buddy. Come on, everyone. Thank God the fire damage took care of it. Otherwise, I would have uh, gotten a free hit there. Uh, it's interesting to note that uh, Isaac and Kendra are feeling some sort of inference from the marker that's being brought up from the crew deck. So that's not a good thing. Even though Kendra... Like to admit otherwise. Structure even. 
You've felt it, haven't you? But how do I stop it? Mercer must know. He's taken all his marker research up to his room on the crew deck and sealed... No, no. Sealed it? Do you know how? Please, I need Mercer's data. No, he'll kill you. I won't have more deaths on my conscience. Unitology was all I had after I lost Amelia. Look what it's come to. Terrence, listen. I mean, if it weren't for you, I never would have made it this far because you made me stick with it. Well, just remember, I'm giving you up for six months so you can do this. You loved Amelia as much as I love Isaac, but if I can't cure this outbreak, I'll never see him again. Please help me. Three, nine, two, seven, seven. He must get into Mercer's room. That coach should still work. Thank you. Here. These are safer with you. Dr. Brennan. Nicole. The only thing Mercer ever feared was death. Now, I doubt he's afraid of anything. Okay, and that was it. That was the... Yeah, part of... Uh... This part of the mission that you can actually do here. So to um, complete this mission, you can only complete uh, continue it from uh, chapter ten onwards when you get access to the crew deck. Also, watch out when going out here, because there's going to be, I think, two slashers coming in from both sides, your front and your back. As I show you here, there's no reason to uh, put number three and four. There's only one of these uh, proto wall guardians guys that we put out of the misery, and in. Uh, Sorry, zero four. There is only yeah, just uh, a mass of uh, flesh over there, so you can't access it. Okay, so no slashers. Never mind. Looks like I lied. So uh, it's interesting to know the first audio log you heard there. That conversation between Isaac and Nicole is actually from Dead Space Two, the beginning of Dead Space Two, uh, where uh, you see that conversations between them. So that was a nice little uh, homage and reference. And the fact that Nicole also referenced uh, that conversation to a kind. But yeah. Let's put this guy in misery. And now, in order to get to the beacon, we'll have to go on the classic gondola ride like in the original. You're gonna have to pull it here with Kinesis to get it to you. And uh, like in the original, once you reactivate it, you're gonna be assaulted on left and right by these uh, tentacles that are uh, spitted out by guardians and of course by spitters. In the original they would have been just the guardian tentacles and the lurkers, however in here there's also spitters which are really fucking annoying. So each time you see one of those big sacks pulsating means a uh, drag tentacle, sorry not drag, a uh, guardian tentacle is gonna pop out so definitely take care of that. Um, Fortunately, here, uh, the whole trip, the whole gondola ride, is a lot more uh, shorter and easier than the original. Because in the original, well, when you get uh, hit, you actually uh, flinch and you can't shoot or move here. However, you can shoot and move while you get hit, so that's a nice little addition, like in Dead Space 2. Another spit over here. She gets a face full of explosions, which in this case actually kills her, so that's really nice. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's, that's the end of the gondola ride pretty short and sweet if you ask me also of course we're covered in blood Jesus Christ oh, a nice little plasma cutter ad over there also time to get the SOS beacon see you again. I'm gonna get us home. There's an SOS beacon nearby. We can call for help. A beacon, right. They locked it in the workshop, but my clearance can get us in this way. Why would your clearance get you in the workers, the mining workshop, Nicole? But alas, who are we to question it at this point? You just gotta get it here. Good to know that she's alive at least. No, we'll have time, I promise. Let's get you that beacon. Everyone's counting on us. Indeed. So, uh, at this point, while Nicole hacks, like in the original, you're gonna have to protect her. Well, not that much compared to the original. There's gonna be a bunch of slashers coming in. 
Like I said, you will have to protect her, however, because uh, if she dies, that will result in a game over and uh, the game will restart its checkpoint. So definitely take care here. There's a couple of uh, normal slashers. This is, I think, the only enhanced slasher that actually pops in. Yeah. It's, I think, the one of two slashers that comes on the cold slide, the only one that can actually hurt her. The others come on your side. And at least compared to the original, there are no lurkers coming in. So at least there's that. Oh, never mind, just one. Okay. So that was it. Nice. It's done. The workshop's open. I've never seen you at work. You're a surgeon with that thing. I got your back. Okay. How do I reach you? No, focus on launching that SOS beacon. There's maintenance ducts everywhere. I'll catch up. You see any more? You hide. Okay? Cross my heart. I love you, Isaac. You can do this. You'll put things back the way they were. And make us whole again. Okay. And there she goes. Well, at least that was the nice little reunion. Even though uh, we barely got to say much towards each other. But good to know that Nicole's alive. I speed this part up because as you can see I tried to get the loot from over there. But uh, they managed to. Also to see how creepy the enhanced slasher faces uh, or skulls are. Ugh. And now we can actually reach the equipment workshop. Which is also where the SOS beacon and... Jesus, the uh, level 4 suit, the intermediate minor rig is, which is uh, pretty much right there on the table, right next to the uh, beacon, which is pretty hard to miss. There we go. Nice. So I hope you've been saving credits now in order to get it, because it's hell of a useful, hell of a useful thing to have. Also, here's where it is. It's pretty much mandatory story, so only if you've really missed it or not picking up schematics be the only reason you should be looking for it at this point or just counting where uh, every schematic is in order to get the achievement for getting all of them also another box in over here and yeah time to pick this bad boy up and send it to space Separated. She'll find her way back. She's a trooper, huh? I'm heading back to the mining control room. I'll launch the beacon and watch out for Nicole. Assuming the system doesn't fizzle out again. Stay sharp. Okay, so uh, there's one more uh, tentacle over here. Also, I think there's somebody else coming in. Uh, other thing, one more thing. Guess not. Okay, so in order to get back, you could go that way, but it isn't recommended. Uh, so divert power from the gun up to zero gravity, you know, to actually fly back, which is, again, different than the original. And also beware when you're going through here that uh, there'll be a bunch of uh, one of those uh, guardian sacks, a lot of them actually, in those pulsating sacks that come over here. Also, there's a secret room with a secret weapon upgrade. Well, it's not really secret, it's more like it's uh, well hidden. You can easily miss it, you know, in order to get uh, full, in order to get more power nodes for your buck and not spend so much money on power nodes and uh, other stuff. So I just take care of these tentacles or not for them not to shoot me. However, there's going to be one once I reach the end of the gondola ride that actually snipes me that I didn't see, but alas. And actually go down here, I recommend you go here too. Because there's a bunch of boxes in here that could contain loot. Also, these drag tentacles do not drop loot. So, uh, uh, if you want to just uh, shoot them, be my guest. I only shoot them in order not to get sniped. Because, as you know, on medium, enemies kind of hit hard. Well, not that hard, but, you know, they do, they do uh, significant damage to you. And also, medkits aren't as easy to come by as in the original. Because they're only dropped only when you're really low on health or uh, 
when you actually in places that actually made sense, or if uh, some survivors stockpiled them in some place, or in you know really high level lockers. So over here, like I said, is the secret room. It's the utility room, which I missed in my original playthrough. As we'll find a upgrade for the flamethrower. Yeah, there we go for the flamethrower, and also a. Uh, Nice little easter egg, also a, another power node, an unfortunate proto-wall guardian guy to put out his misery. Yeah, that little crabby thing over there, look at kitty is. I think it actually made a sound to go there. Oh, that's so cute. Actually, looking at it further, I'm not sure if uh, that crab is actually wearing, kind of looks like he's wearing Isaac's jacket from the beginning of Dead Space 3, but uh, alas. And yes, you probably play this, you know that there's gonna be a Dead Space 3, so you pretty much know that Isaac uh, survives this journey. If you didn't know that... Uh, if you didn't know that uh, this whole uh, Dead Space is a franchise and actually had three games here, well, sorry to bust it into you, but... Uh, they're all with Isaac Clarke, so <laughs> you kinda know. Now, slight spoiler. So compared to the original, there are no slashers coming in here, so I'm pretty much done. I get hit like I... Told you that, yeah, there you go, by the Guardian Tentacle. And now we go back. I don't think there's any more enemies. In the original, there used to be a slasher over here pretending to be dead, but there isn't somehow, which is really interesting. And there is it in here. However, I do think now is going to be the second elevator ambush uh, coming in. Yeah, there we go. Now it's the second elevator ambush, which is going to be a group of... Uh, Two groups of two, you're gonna be fighting two lurkers and two leapers, and compared to the original, they won't be just dropping down. They'll be actually uh, on the walls above, so they'll be coming from above towards you, not just, you know, instantly dropping down to your level. So, uh, once the elevator stops here, just aim up and keep your eyes up, because that's where they'll be coming from. Once, there we go. That won't let us uh, access the power. So now, we gotta wait for them to come in, in order to kill them. Okay, music sounding, which means they're here. There we go, first lurker. Goodbye, baby. I'd say nobody misses you, but I'm not sure about that. But at the same time, if you're a clone of somebody, who knows? Maybe they will, maybe they won't. But in this state, I'm sure nobody will miss you. And now the two lurkers come in. Even though you can actually just kill them from here, and it, like I said, if you uh, destroy one of their limbs while they're climbing that you kill them instantly. I still uh, don't want to risk them super uh, super jumping towards me. Oh, never mind. There's actually a lurker and a security slasher, so that's interesting. And yeah, that was it. Like I said, with lurkers, I don't think chances. But once I saw uh, that part in uh, the... Um, was it the hydroponics level? Yeah, the hydroponics level, chapter 6 of uh, the lurk actually jumping from one level to the other said nah I'm not taking chances I'm gonna I'm gonna stasis these bitches it's time I get a chance so there we go uh, I'm not sure how that thing broke if that box broke or not or if it's a glitch but uh, now since we I don't have any more uh, boxes and stuff unfortunately I'm um, kind of uh, forced I don't know why the game decided to, for me to pick up the thing and like you see here, there you go, power restored, I think that's part of the glitch, because in uh, once we got rid of the ambush, it actually said power restore, so there's the glitch coming in, and of course we sped up how we uh, burn out that trap, because unfortunately we don't have any other uh, option besides you know, going into the trap and harming ourselves, which is not recommended. I actually, uh, I think, take care here, there's, I think there's gonna be a pregnant here, yeah, there we go, a pregnant or an exploder coming in, so definitely uh, be aware of that. And also, uh, st like I said, stasis, definitely stasis pregnancy, because compared to the original, uh, besides Dead Space 2, uh, I had the most, I think, problems with the pregnants in here, because they do tend to have their uh, sacs ruptured compared to the original, which I didn't uh, have a problem with doing that. So, with that aside, now we actually get finally to get the beautiful, beautiful level 4 suit with more inventory and more armor. So, here we go.
guys. Time to see how this boy looks out. But first, of course, we gotta sell our stuff that we don't need anymore. And we're back to 35,000, thank God. Uh, of course, I buy more ammo because I already want at least two or more stacks of uh, plasma car ammo because the game isn't as giving as I'd like to, to be. And uh, yeah. Uh, not now, but in, there's gonna be an upcoming section. They recommend you keep some stasis packs on. If not, the game will actually give you two uh, stasis packs you need. And also, because of this, uh, the last update of the game, as of now, you can actually switch back to the skin of the other uh, costumes, which is a thing I already always wanted to have in my original Dead Space. So thank you very much, Yamoto, for that option. That was a thing I was begging for in the first things for listening to uh, our wants, actually adding that to the game. There we go, there's the enhanced Isaac wearing the level 4 suit. Beautiful. And we finally got some armor covering the our left arm. Thank God for that. It's only gonna get beefier from here on in. Also, a Leaper will be here once you use this bench, so definitely uh, be aware of that, because you only hear it after I get here. It's really nice of them to not attack you compared to the original, because in the original they attacked you uh, if you're on the bench here, they're kind of nice and they actually wait for you. Actually, you'll see here. Yeah, I have no idea how I wasn't hit right there. It's just amazing that the detection didn't think like, yeah, you're not the person the enemy is, but whatever. Another example of the glitch here. I have the text, text log, which I already picked up. It's available to pick up again, which made no sense. But alas, it's a weird duplication glitch going in this level. There's going to be a really bad application glitch at the end of the level which will leave me almost dead but uh, we'll get to that but in between then we can actually uh, see and upgrade the our rig further which will get us more I think stasis and uh, health which is always uh, welcome however there are yeah there we go more uh, I think impalement damage yeah there we go impalement damage more more duration for our stasis thank god for that one more second more energy and more health. There we go. Actually, uh, like I said in the original, you cannot get all of the rig upgraded in one playthrough because the game will not uh, unlock all the uh, upgrade paths. You will need to purchase the level six military uh, military yeah military fuck level six suit. Jesus, I don't know. Spell the sprite. Jesus, butterfingers. So level six. You need the level six suit in order to uh, upgrade the whole um, thing, which you only get after completing the game. So uh, keep that in mind. And I'm actually going to go in here. I actually, I think go when we come back, I think, yeah. Because we're going to come back at least once more. So let us try this again. Administrator access granted. Prepping launch tubes. What was that? The miners must have booby trapped the launch tubes too. They're scrap. Well, that's great. We can't just toss the beacon out a window. Uh, there's gotta be something. The asteroid. The one in the mining bay for smelting. What about it? If I attach the SOS beacon to that asteroid and then launch it away from the ship, we'd get a clean broadcast. And you'd get yourself killed. The machinery in there is still running, Isaac. Then it probably kept those things out too. This is our best shot, Kendra. I'm taking it. And as usual, my boy Isaac stepping up like a motherfucking G. Damn, son, the fucking brass on this guy. So as you can see, now we have to get actually to that uh, smelting bay where the asteroid is put in. And destroy a bunch of gravity tethers like in the original. And compared to the original, the part is a lot more easier. Because in the original, I have... Uh, I'm pretty much always worried because that's the part we can actually pretty easily die because of that uh, rotating machinery here. However, with the upgraded 0G uh, controls, it's a lot more easier and forgiving. And especially that you can actually uh, stasis the machinery now. So that's really, really neat, to say the least. Uh, yeah, and here you're going to have to, in order to go to the other way, you have to... Uh, you just pick up the battery here and drag it and uh, take it all the way back there to put it in the elevator. Two uh, exploders will come over here, so watch out. Just uh, chuck your battery away in order for it not to obstruct your way. You can actually smack them in the head and it'll stop it for a few seconds, which will give you enough time to 
I think, uh, retreat, so that's nice. There'll be two explorers here, and there'll be one more ahead. So definitely take care of that, be aware. This is, this is a pretty pretty small room to be in, so not much, uh, not much space to run away to or for. <laughs> like, literally. Okay, so now that we dealt with those, there's another explorer coming here. There we go, like I said, you can actually smack them in the head with it and give a nice little breathing room for a couple seconds or to retreat or not. And once you put this in, there's gonna be a security slasher coming into the vent, like that. Take care of this boy here. Fire damage makes its money's worth. And now we can actually go and go into the gravity tether room. Which you're gonna have to destroy two of these gravity tethers, like it says, two on the inside and two on the outside, meaning we have to go outside in the uh, vacuum of space. So, as usual, the objective says go over there, and say we're gonna go over here to this room, because, you know, exploration is always good. And, like I said, uh, after the gravity tether room, you're gonna need some stasis packs. If you don't have any, you have ammo, there are two here, so that should be more than enough in order to uh, get past the part after the gravity tethers and uh, if not do not fret and do not use uh, stasis packs on this part because there's going to be a bunch of uh, a lot of stasis recharge um, stations in this uh, in where the gravity tethers are so definitely don't worry about that you get you're covered on that regard there you go there's the first one also a baby here, which unfortunately hits me in the face because it doesn't understand this memory and getting hit with a giant fucking fan in the face. So, once again, EA motive, that's a thing I think you should definitely work on, but alas. And yeah. There we go, we're finally in this room. Okay, so in order to uh, pass this part, you're pretty much going to have to um, freeze with stasis these uh, rotating things, which are the gravity tethers itself, and shoot the blue fuse. And there you go, that's one gravity tether down. Also, beware that uh, once you've destroyed this gravity tether or the one above, there's going to be two enhanced leapers coming in. So definitely I recommend you abuse the shit out of the stasis because like I said you have a stasis recharge station not only in the room before this one but actually in this room at the beginning of it you can actually run there and get it. And also uh, to note we actually have to plant the beacon like it said but that we can only do on the exterior of it. And uh, what I wanted to say is that the fact that um, you see those uh, you'll see them on the giant beams, the one that the gravitators make and the one at the uh, middle of the room which is most probably breaking apart the asteroid for uh, minerals. Do not go through them because you'll definitely once again probably die instantly so definitely don't do that. Just uh, go over them and uh, yeah compared to the original you can actually stick to the surface here so that's interesting. Well it doesn't really matter since you know you can fly all over the place. But now we only have one of these gravity tethers left. Once again, freeze it, and then shoot it, I waste a couple of energy here. There we go. At least that makes sense why you have to destroy all of them, because in the original you could have thought to yourself, why do I have to destroy all four of them, since you know, if two of them, if you need four, two of them should be half of it, and they shouldn't be able to, you know, pull it, but since now they're compensating, yeah, it makes more sense. And yes, in order to get outside, you actually have to go into that small little space between the asteroid and uh, the Shimura. And also, yeah, do not get hit by that rotating uh, mechanism, because if it touches you, you will die instantly. However, compared to the original, you don't only have to wait for that, you can actually stasis it. And there you go. You have enough time to go in between here, and boom, you're outside. And death free. Also beware that each time I think you... Um, yeah, you go to these stairs, there's gonna be lurkers coming in, so uh, definitely take care not to get uh, needlessly shot in the face by these stupid fucking babies. God, I hate these enemies so much. And also there's stasis and oxygen recharge stations here, so uh, that's a nice little addition compared to the original, I think. I'm not sure if they have oxygen stations, I don't remember if they had anything outside. Caution. 
I think they did have uh, stasis recharge, but I'm not sure they had oxygens, but alas. Good to know at least. So with that, only one more terror to go in mind. I think one more lurker coming in somewhere. I also look about to see the darkness and void of the space, which is really nice to see. I think there were just some space particles in there because I didn't uh, get to see anything, but alas. And also, once again, uh, definitely keep in mind your uh, oxygen reserve so that you don't suffocate. Because, uh, yeah. And compared to the original, you don't have to actually have to get on the asteroid, you just have to get close to it to plant the beacon. Just get to it and boom, there you go, beacon planted. And now, also compared to the uh, original, you actually don't, I don't think you have to uh, worry about that rotating mechanism anymore because I think at this point it stopped. Yeah, there we go, I think it stopped, which is really good. And of course, once they say that I get shot in the face, as is the case, and as the rule of karma and uh, probably an unwritten rule of Murphy says, you can't have a good thing without uh, getting immediately shot in the face saying that, wow, that was a good thing that happened to me and that went well. But alas, we at least are done with this part. We have enough air to make it. The mechanism is stopped, thank God, and we're pretty much done with this part. Yeah. At this point, we only have to get back to that uh, main room, which is on the other side. Thank God for the locator. And uh, yeah, the chapter is pretty much done. Not much to tell. There will be a uh, final part, which is really interesting in this chapter to worry about. But aside that, yeah, you're pretty much done at this point. Yeah. Exiting zero gravity. So now, for the next part... Uh, well, actually, when we get back to the elevator. Also, uh... Also, when we go back here, remember that you'll have to, uh unplug that battery and then put it back in the elevator in order to access the uh, asteroid launching room otherwise you can't access it but unfortunately now that we planted this one in yeah the whole flames are starting to spew out indiscriminately so that's just great so like in hydroponics wait for them to die out and then run past them uh, like I said don't forget the battery here just uh, pick it up over here and then chuck it at the end of the room so you don't have to uh, awkwardly go towards it I think there's a fire that goes non-stop or maybe all of them just uh, die out don't really not want to see a pattern here in the original one of them always stood on so that's interesting and now we pretty much just chuck that baby over there and slot it in and we can actually get up there and like I said over here this is your last chance to stock up on stasis because I recommend you have it and on health and ammo because you're probably gonna need it in this last section because uh, after this part... Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Almost T-posed on us. Jesus Christ, man. More, uh... More terrifying thing than actually all these uh, space horror... Eldritch Abomination stuff is, of course, the horror of having people... Uh, former uh, bodies that were this being uh, made whole again. And then, uh... Actually T-posing on it. Jesus Christ, man. The horror is real in that space. <laughs> The T posing horror that is. Just a fraction of a second, so as you can doubt your sanity. So, like I said, before going in this uh, part, you actually. I recommend you actually uh, stock up on stasis, ammo, and health, because you're gonna need it. And yeah, time to launch the beacon and send out a distress call. Maybe that'll get us off this fucking ship. It's working. The beacon's online, broadcasting wide band. I'll align the receiver. This will take a minute. Head on back to the tram station. Okay, so I hope you've prepared. Because uh, this is the last part of the chapter. That you have to worry about. And what a surprise, quarantine time. However, compared to the original, the hunter is back. Which... Don't have to tell you how much that sucks. So, uh, like in the original, you're gonna have to uh, freeze it. Well, not like the original, like it before. Any day, Kendra, any day. It's a little bit bunch of other slashers dropping in. Uh, like I said, just keep it uh, 
just keep it keep its limbs uh, cut off to the point where it actually cla crawls on the ground. And uh, once she says hit the manual release beside this uh, enhanced slasher that comes in, there's gonna be a uh, lever or not lever. Yeah, there's gonna be a whatever thing there that you can actually pull down with kinesis and unlock the door. Now it can go, and also beware that going in this car there's gonna be not one but three slashers that are gonna impede your uh, progress. Of course, as usual, the thing that I hate most about the game, you shoot the enemies in the face and they don't react to the fact that, you know, they're being blasted to shit, but alas, fortunately, no remakes and games are perfect, however it is. And at this point I'm just like, yeah, get the fuck out of my way, I'm fucking running, don't care very much, thank you, fuck off. And uh, yeah, you cannot sprint past them, unfortunately. However, at this point, uh, even though nobody's chasing you, after you go uh, over the shop, and once you end, uh, open it, there we go. It's T-posing in. Jesus Christ, man. Get into the game, still isn't bug-free. After you go after this gate, there's gonna be like three slashers uh, dropping down. You can run past all of them. And the hunter, you either have enough time while they're dropping down in order for you to reach the elevator door and actually uh, exit there safely. They cannot follow you, they, us, they, there's no need to return. So you pretty much got, so there's the hunter coming in. I said, no, thank you. I'm not dealing with that shit. Another slasher coming in. The one over here, I'm like, no, thank you. Fuck all of you. Thank you very much. I had my share of uh, mining. I hate this place very much. And good luck opening the door, fellas. There you go, boom. This part done. Have fun rotting there, fellas. See you in the next playthrough or exploration. I think it's gone, but I can't be sure. The system's bugged out again. I'm getting those camera glitches, the ones that look like my brother, waving at me. At least the beacon's away. I'm aligning the... Wait, a ray receiver not responding? Oh, shit. The comms ray. We never fixed it. Guess there wasn't a broken encoder. Then let's hope that 48 hours estimate was wrong too. No comms, no rescue. <sighs> Take the tram to the bridge. I'll hack open the door to communications. You see what's happening with the array. And don't worry about Nicole. Like Hammond said, she'll do the smart thing. Here's hoping. So once you open this door, a bunch of components will attack you, like in the original. Uh, definitely don't let the head get close to you because it will try to grab you. That's the only attack it'll have compared to the other body parts that actually just swing at you. And here's you're gonna see more about this uh, duplication glitch that I've seen because I did go on somebody else's uh, video about the um, about this chapter in order to see if that uh, actually was a normal thing and happened. And they actually didn't encounter it like I did. So once you open this door, you actually see there's gonna be two more sets. Besides, well, this security is like two more. There's gonna be two more sets of components coming at me, and you're gonna see me go into a very, very funny and merry, uh, merry uh, grab fest uh, with the fucking divider heads that actually brings me to almost no health and just uh, completely just stuns, locks me into. Yeah, there we go. That was the first one. I was holy shit, man. The fucking damage. The thing that I think I hate the most with uh, Isaac just uh, throwing down that fucking head is the fact that it doesn't uh, it doesn't kill it. In the original, it actually killed it once you got it down. I think that yeah, there's actually two more in then, which is absolutely fucking amazing. Like, come on, Isaac, just put it under your feet. Then just you know, keep the tent. Uh, so I keep. Grab the tentacles, put it under your feet, and keep stomping. It's not that hard. You don't have to just smack it and just let it go. Like, come on, man. You won't do much with that. And at this point, I said, yeah, fuck this. I'm already at zero health, and I'm going to waste a full-on uh, med pack. I said, fuck this. It's not worth it. Uh, screw whoever didn't uh, update this close enough. But alas. And there we go. We're out of the frying pan. Well, the glitchy frying pan. And into a uh, less glitchy fire. So uh, at this point, you're gonna have to go to the bridge in order to continue the chapter to chapter eight, you're basically in it. But if you're still uh, hanging out here, you can actually see, cause now we actually go since we're just uh, way across the way from mining, uh, engineering, sorry, we actually get the uh, Rousseau's engineering chief. Aerial Rousseau's rig, which is in uh, engineering, and also yeah, it will be a nice little um, 
transition for the next video that's going to be coming well in the near future because unfortunately i'm kind of busy with real life stuff at the moment unfortunately i can't uh, put these up as fast as i would like to uh we'll actually transition because there's going to be a schematic where you can actually get in here in mining uh now that you have the level three um clearance so yeah that's a nice thing to look forward to and once again thank god of this place no no thank you you're not moving you don't want any more bullshit containing leapers thank you very much lurkers are enough shitty as it is but they don't do much damage so thank god for that yeah we we'll have to go through this uh really noisy room once again the fact that uh, i think uh glenn schofield said in the original they actually did manage to um Either put this noise or the noise of how it sounds when you enter the vacuum from a metro when you open it. And it sounds really, they put it because one of those sign designers actually went to the metro, uh, metro and uh, they said it was actually really scary and that's why they put it in the game. So that's nice. So like I said, you're in here in the engineering. There's, there's the rig on the floor. Once you pick it up, there's going to be an enhanced slasher coming in, so be aware of that. But like I said, you could have you could have easily seen it in chapter three. However, you can't get to it only now that you have the uh, level three clearance. There's the uh, slasher. Not sure if it is uh, Chief Rousseau, but it can be implied since uh, there's just a uh, blood trail going to the vent. Yes, that's another example of how the marker influence can uh, fuck with people's minds. Of her help saying that the engine is a giant heart. There's no, uh, no idea if uh, she actually went in the heart and the heart and the machine actually got killed, or uh, if there was she just died and uh, something made her a slasher there. But alas, that's pretty much it for this video. The next one will continue the. Uh, Primitive uh, the malpractices. We'll see how if we can fix the comms rate to get an SOS going, and we'll end the uh, Hunter Origin Cypher. So, I hope this helps you, and see you next time. Peace.